Hello space folks, welcome to yet another video of SpaceX updates. We have a lot of things to talk about in this video, so let's jump right into it. As usual, first, let us see what is new at Starbase. Yesterday, Starship S-24 was removed from the test stand at suborbital pad B and moved to near the orbital launch mount. Does this mean a full stack is imminent in the coming days with the return of Booster 7? Or is it making space for Starship 25 to roll out to the launch site? Remember, Booster 8 is still at the launch site waiting for its turn to be tested on the launch mount. But we all know and as I keep saying, plan changes in a snap of a finger at Starbase. Who knows, maybe they could roll back Booster 8 and bring back Booster 7 to start preparing for the full stack wet dress rehearsal. Possible road closure schedules are up and posted on the Cameron County website. This could be either for Booster 7 or Booster 8. Let us all wait and find out. This is the most exciting news in quite a while. Firefly Aerospace finally launched its Alpha rocket on the second attempt. It turns out Scrub Timber kept holding back the rocket. It's already October now. They needed to send up the rocket after a few scrubbed attempts, and they finally did it. T minus five. Four, three, two, one. <laughs> it's off the pad. <laughs> there it is. Four's got it. Oh, ho, ho, ho. it was a beautiful shot right there. All thanks to the everyday astronaut and his team for bringing us this amazing view. The Firefly Mission Control Room was jubilant after the confirmation of the rocket reaching orbit. <laughs> Show Mission Control. I gotta see him. <laughs> Congratulations to Firefly Aerospace. Welcome to the club orbit. NASA has officially pushed back Artemis 1 mission launch to next month. When Category 4 Hurricane Ian made landfall in the state of Florida, it left devastating impacts on the ground. Luckily, NASA made the right decision to roll the SLS rocket back to the Vehicle Assembly Building. NASA hasn't picked a specific launch date yet. The next launch period opens on November 12 and closes on 27. And finally, before we end this video, let us have a look at the humanoid robot that Elon and his Tesla team unveiled yesterday. Two prototypes of Optimus were unveiled to the public for the first time. Musk says this humanoid robot will cost less than 20k dollars and deliveries could start within 3 to 5 years from now. I think these robots will be among the first machines to land on the surface of Mars on a Starship rocket carrying out crucial scientific experiments. What do you guys think of these robots? Comment down below.